Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with Double A Shaves and I am back again. Feels good to just be back in my shave den, doing my thing, saying hi to everyone. And um, yeah, I'm in a different uh, setting today. I'm actually in my bathroom, just kind of experimenting with uh, different angles and everything. So uh, we're gonna see how this goes. Lighting isn't too amazing in here, but I'm fine with it for now. I mean, it doesn't look terrible to me, so. Um, yeah, and also there's kind of some weird audio stuff going on in my phone. Um, I'm noticing in some of my recent YouTube videos, um, I got to turn the volume up really high to hear myself. So um, I don't know, I probably just need a new phone, honestly. So um, if, any, if any of you guys maybe want to see how my audio is or give me some feedback on that, um, I would appreciate that. But uh, yeah, no. Um, other than that, yeah, everything is just going good. Glad to be uh, doing a shave today here. Oh, and before I forget, um, a new YouTuber I've been watching who just started up a channel. Uh, his name is Joseph, and his YouTube channel is called Desert Shave Den. And he makes really good videos. Uh, he's very good at editing. Um, just really an all-around pleasure to watch. So um, I urge you guys to go check out Joseph from Desert Shave Den. So... I'm going to put a link to his channel down in my description to um, send you guys that way if you want to go check him out. Uh, he makes really good videos, really nice guy, so make sure to go do that. Um, all right, so I guess let's just dive right, right into the shave. Um, again, I hope everyone is doing well, and um, I just can't believe the holidays are right around the corner, so uh, we are very excited about that here, so... Um, all right, so soap for today. So um, not too long ago, my buddy Eric from the Better Every Shave YouTube channel, another great YouTuber, for those of you who haven't seen him, I'll be sure to link to his channel down in my description. So um, I think for, for like, for me, God, maybe for like a year or like two years now, we've, we've been, him and I have been doing like soap trades and um I think in our most recent uh, soap trade, he gave me some of this. So this is Crown and Crane Port Royal Bay Rum. And he gave me a pretty hefty sample of the soap here. And you can also see my uh, PA scoop and scooper in there. It's a little pick. I love this thing. It's my only scooper, but um, it gets the job done good. I don't, I used to go and just go in here with my finger, but. Uh, the scooper's a lot better. But yeah, he gave me a pretty decent sized sample of uh, the Crown and, Crown and Crane Port Royal Bay Rum here. And I saw this soap in my den. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead and do a shave with it? I haven't really used the Bay Rum soap in a while. And also lately, I've been thinking when I look in my shave den, um, you know, I think I kind of want to you know, review scents that are kind of more of a challenge for me. I kind of want to, I guess nowadays with my videos, I kind of want to give myself a challenge. Um, and you know what? I think sometimes Bay Rum, there's a lot of different variations of Bay Rum. Every artisan has their own Bay Rum. Um, and I don't know. I was like, you know what? I, you know, I think I, it would be kind of a challenge for me to kind of review this Bay Rum. Um, I don't know. But I guess that's kind of what I'm looking for nowadays in my den. I want to use a soap that's not, like, really easy to explain, I guess, if if that's what I mean. But, um, yeah, so I am a Bay Rum fan, so I am going to be using this Port Royal Bay Rum here, which I have scooped up in here, which I'm going to lather up in a sec. Um, so thank you, Eric, for the sample of the Crown & Crane Port Royal Bay Rum. Um, I'm just kind of starting my adventure into Crown and Crane. Um, very recently, Ben from the Soap Thing YouTube channel, another great YouTuber. I'll be sure to link to his channel in my description for those of you who haven't seen him. Um, yeah, recently he actually gifted me. Um, I think I bought a few stuff from him and he threw this in just as a bonus. Uh, he threw in a full tub of Crown and Crane for me. This is Norseman. And um, this is the only full tub I have of Crown and Crane. And I'm just kind of starting my journey into the brand here. Um, I really like the artwork. If you go on their site, uh, I love that crane there. 
um, yeah, they have a really cool kind of Asian type theme to their artwork. At least that's what I see. But um, yeah, just when I go on their site, their artwork just really draws me in and um, a lot of creativity behind this brand. So yeah, I'm excited to be kind of starting my journey into uh, Crown and Crane here. Um, yeah, so again, don't have a full tub of the Port Royal Bay rum, but I, but I do have a nice size sample that Eric sent my way, which there's a, there's a pretty decent amount in here. I don't know how much exactly, but it's going to last a while. But I do like this scent. I'm happy to be reviewing it today. So I am a Bay Rum fan. So thank you, Eric, for this sample that I received from you. All right, let's get into the razor. So classic razor. Um, this, this, this was like my first actual good safety razor, Mercur 34C. I'm sure we all know this razor, great razor. I could see why it's loved worldwide. It's got, the handle is the perfect weight, um, you know, and, and it is a nice, comfortable shaver. If you're an experienced shaver, you're not going to nick yourself with this. It's very, very comfortable to shave with. Um, and nowadays I go for more aggressive razors because I have coarse facial hair, but you know what? I'm just going to see, I'm just going to see how this does with like four days growth. I, I just want to see, I was just in the mood to bust it out again. So I've been using too many aggressive razors lately. So I was like, what the heck? Let's bust out the Mercur 34C. Great razor. I, this is good for experienced shavers as well as beginners. I recommend this razor to everybody. It's so good. Great price point too, and then Mercur 34C. Boschcod blade, never had an issue with them. Blade we're going with is the Boschcod. Uh, After shave, gotta stick with the Bay Rum theme, Sterling Bay Rum. Um, I'm gonna get more into the scent in a minute here, but Sterling's Bay Rum is just a classic take on Bay Rum. Um, it's just, it's just the Bay, the Pimenta Racemosa, which is the uh, the actual bay note. Um, that's like the scientific name for it. Orange, nutmeg, cinnamon, and clove. So this is just straight classic bay rum. It's pretty heavy on the clove, but as a bay rum lover, uh, I'm just going to be wearing this today. And I ran it like half down, so you could tell I do like bay rum. Um, and it's a polarizing scent. You either love or you hate bay rum. I love bay rum. I love its spiciness, so. All right, and continuing my journey with uh, badgers here. I got this soaking in my Burma Shave mug. Sterling, I think 24 millimeter, finest badger. So it's been soaking for a while, so I think that'll, uh, that'll work very well. I am liking badger brushes nowadays. And I did have a break in the den recently. Look at this guy. He's cute, right? Oh, oh no. Look at how much that sucks. He's this cute panda face. And then in, what? just like that. Probably going to get this one again. Yeah, it sucks. It broke. I probably could like glue it together somehow, but it was like a, it was like an $18 brush. So I don't know. I might just get a new one, but look at that poor guy. Oh, well. Okay, well, I guess um, I got the Crown and Crane Port Royal Bay Rum. Got a pretty decent amount of soap in the bowl here. I'm going to get it lathered up with my Sterling Badger, and um, I will be right back after this, so stay tuned. Guys. All right, guys, I am back with the lather here. So let's take a look at this. Boom, lather. That's that's kind of the Mark Zerati uh, famous line there, huh? Yeah, really nice lather here in my uh, Pereira Shave Bowl. Sterling 24 millimeter finest badger lathered up uh, pretty uh, pretty easily. Uh, didn't really put too much water in there, but um, you know definitely didn't. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Towel based soap. Um, definitely didn't put like I didn't overhydrate it, but I didn't put too little water in there either. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is um, is going to shave pretty good today. So I'm excited to uh, use this. So let me go ahead and uh, wet the face here. Yeah, so again, don't have too much experience with Crown and Crane. Um, I know it's a towel-based soap. I think they're out of uh, uh, Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, again, I just kind of, I'm probably going to end up getting more of their soaps in the future. Um, 
I just kind of like their theme and their scents seem really interesting. Um, yeah, my buddy uh, Matt from Shaving the Day YouTube channel, I'll be sure to link to his channel as well. Um, for those of you who haven't seen him, but he just did uh, one of their scents, Pepper Plum, which um, which looked amazing, you know, and I think Plum is such an underutilized scent note, uh, especially in the wet shaving space, um, because I smelled, uh, I get a lot of those $1 aftershave samples from Phoenix, and one of them I got uh, a little bit back when it came out was their their dupe of Tom Ford Japanese plum, and I smelled it, and I was blown away. I'm like, man, I just love the scent of plum. I don't know why more, um, get lathered up here. I don't know why more, um, you know, soap artisans don't use it in their soap, but eh, who knows? Maybe it's like a tough, it's tough to get the scent oils of it or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, plum is really, really, really good stuff. So peppered plum is definitely one on my list here but yeah so going back to show you again the soap <laughs> with the scooper in there um yeah port royal bay room yeah continuing my, my journey here with the uh, badger brushes um in the first part of my hobby i was always really into synthetics but um i think i'm getting the hang of badgers. You, you got to use less water in the bowl when you build a lather because the, the hairs absorb a lot of the water. So I'm kind of uh, getting used to that. Um, yeah, this lather is looking okay. A little thin right now. Let me get a little bit more out of the bowl here. Yeah, there we go. That Santa Claus thing going on. But yeah, so far what I use from them, the soap base is good. Nice tallow based soap here. So I'm right, gonna do a little scrubbing hybrid, get the uh kind of exfoliate the whiskers and also get the soap underneath the whiskers. I think that's something a lot of I see a lot of wet shavers not always do. They just kind of do a thin layer on top, which works. It's it's fine. I mean, but I like to get the soap underneath the hairs, which kind of provides for more of a comfortable shave, in my opinion. So, I might have even put too much water in this lather. <laughs> oh well. It's always fun kind of experimenting with that when you're a bowl lather, you know, the amount of hydration. So, yeah, let's take care of the mustache here. So I'm a huge bay rum fan. I know bay rum is a very polarizing scent. I know a lot of people who don't like it. Um, I love it. Um, to me, it's more of a false scent because of its spiciness, but it actually is of, for those of you who don't know, it's actually is of Caribbean origins. So yeah, that looks good. So Port Royal Bay Rum, so on the Crown and Crane site, they also, along with its scent note description, they also kind of explain the origins of Bay Rum. So um, I think back in the 1700s, the pirates in the Caribbean, they all smelled really bad. All right, let's start the shave here. They all smelled terrible. So um, they would take the leaves of the, the Pimenta Reis Mosa, the bay leaf, they would take it off the plant. And I guess if you rubbed it on your skin, the essential oils would kind of come out and would um, make you smell good for a while. So um, I guess that's kind of what they use the bay leaf for. And then if you put it, the leaf in rum, which of course a lot of the pirates were heavy rum drinkers, uh, it preserved the, the bay leaf scent longer. Um, so I guess that's how kind of how bay rum was born. Um, and I think a lot of people like this scent for fall because of the way it smells. It kind of smells like a like a spice cabinet or a Christmas spice cake. But um, it's funny, it actually is like a Caribbean origin. Like it's a Caribbean scent. So it's that's kind of why I always thought Bay Rum was sort of interesting. So, you know. Um, so again... The Sterling Bay Rum is just 
classic bay rum. So the sterling one is just pimenta racemosa, which is the bay rum leaf, orange, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove. That's it. So that's just classic bay rum, but Port Royal bay rum. I will tell you there is more going on in this scent. Um, so Port Royal Bay Rum is the Pimenta Racemosa, orange, lime, rum, ginger, peppercorn, allspice, and just a touch of cinnamon and clove. And I've noticed with um, a lot of artisans like PAA, they don't use a lot of clove because um, the clove, a lot of people don't like it. It can be kind of overpowering. And in Sterling's take, they're... I like bay rum, but I, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of clove in this one. Um, so this would not be everyone's cup of tea. Um, the clove is very kind of overpowering with the rest of the scent. So I could see why people, I could see why PA does not put any clove in his, um, his bay rum. And he, he's also like a bay rum whiz dog over there at PAA. He really knows what he's doing with his bay rum. Um, you know, like a favorite of mine that he does is Atomic Pumpkin. So obviously, I'm sure a lot of us know that soap. It's like a, it's like a, a fall bay rum where it's also got like pumpkin spices mixed in there. Um, it's, man, it's just, it's like spicy, sweet, buttery, resinous, great fall scent. Um. Yeah, the 34C with the Bosch caught is shaving pretty good here, so. And then there's also Chiseled Face Bay Rum. I just got a sample of this one. I believe also from Eric from Better Every Shave. Um, this one is actually, that one's actually very close to this one, the Port Royal Bay Rum, so. Um... So I think Port Royal Bay Rum is a great Bay Rum. I think, I actually think it's also kind of a good crowd pleasing Bay Rum. Um, I think just, I think because it has just a hint of clove and not a lot of clove like the Sterling one, um, it's more on the crowd pleasing side. Um, yeah, doing it against the grain pen. To my, to my nose, it's kind of a smoother, toned down type of bay rum. Um, it's not, it's not like a, I mean, you definitely pick up the bay rum scent in there, but it's, I think it's more of a kind of a smoother, refined one, at least to my nose. Um, there's, there's a note in there that's kind of giving it that softness. I'm, I wonder, I wonder if it's the rum, they put an actual rum note in there. So maybe the booziness of that kind of adds kind of a smoothness to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just maybe because they used a touch of cinnamon and clove instead of all, instead of a lot of cinnamon and clove, that's why it's kind of smoother. Maybe that, the fact of that mixed with the rum, maybe the allspice too, kind of give it a nice kind of softer thing. But I'm a big fan of this day rum. I think I'll even go as far as to say as even people who aren't bay rum fans would probably kind of like this for its subtleness and smoothness. Um, it's not a strong bay rum to my nose. So, um, it almost kind of, I guess because of that, whatever is making it smooth, it almost kind of smells like a barbershop scent to my nose. Like it kind of reminds me of Bar Bar from Noble Otter for anyone who's smelled that. Um, it's yeah, like it's not like an in your face, strong bay rum like that. A lot of people talk about when they don't like bay rum, this is a, this is a smoother, a smoother bay rum with some softness to my nose. It's a little more subtle than most bay rums. So I'm a big, big fan of uh, Port Royal Bay Rum. I think they did, did a good job with this one. All right, second pass lather is a little more thin. That's always how it is, which is interesting. I guess the hairs kind of on the first pass kind of make the lather explode more for some reason, but. That's good. Let me get a little more. All right. All right, 
against the grain 34C. Um, yeah, first pass, it did a decent job of taking down the hair. Yeah, one of these days I want to do a camera only shave where you just look into the camera. Maybe I'll make it like a tag challenge or something. All right, not bad. Yeah, so again, notes are pimenta, racemosa, orange, lime, rum, ginger, peppercorn, allspice, touch of cinnamon, and clove. So definitely more going on in this one. It's more of a complex scent than like Sterling's classic takes. So yeah, I think um, the soap is out of stock right now, I noticed. Um, I think Murphy McNeil has it, but on the Crown and Crate site, it is out of stock. But yeah, I think for people who aren't crazy about Bay Rum, this, I would, I would say, in my opinion, this is a good... A, Kind of a good option to go with it's not over the top clove um it's to my nose it's a really nice smooth bay rum so and yeah i guess the rum or something in there something is giving it like a softness um that's what that's what my nose is picking up from it so if anyone else has used this one i would love to know your thoughts and how my thoughts compare It's also a good razor for kind of, you can kind of shave with one hand, kind of like those razors. All right, second pass coming good with the 34C. I got coarse hair, but it's, doing a good job of mowing it down. This is a, like I said, this is a great razor for beginners as well as seasoned shavers, so. And I was never an expensive razor guy, so. A lot of crazy razors coming out, but, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I get perfect shaves with my cheaper razors, so. I don't see a point right now to get super expensive razors, but. Doesn't mean I won't ever try them, but. I guess, I guess my thinking right now is since I get great shaves with my cheaper razors, uh, you know, the money that I would spend on, ex on an expensive razor, I'd rather just spend that on shaving software instead of hardware. Um, does anyone else have that thought? Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Probably sound like a broken record at this point. Uh, yeah, and anyone else who has like uh, recommendations for good bay rum scents that I didn't mention, let me know. Well, looks and feels like a great shave with the 34C. So this was my first actual good razor and it still holds up. I love this thing. There's a reason why so many people, it's loved by so many people, so. Very nice. Good, good soap based on Crown and Crane. If anyone else likes them, let me know. I haven't really been buying too many um, soaps and aftershaves lately. You know, dense space is kind of thin. I guess money's kind of tight, so I'm not getting too many soaps and aftershaves nowadays unless something like really, really catches my eye and something really impresses me, so. All right, Sterling Bay Rum. If you want like a classic Bay Rum, this is the one to do it with. And I also like this one because the soap this is one of their soaps that's made with um, essential oils instead of fragrance oils. So this, I've had that soap for like probably five years now and the scent is still so bold and strong. 
really good stuff. I love when soaps are made with essential oils. And Sterling has a lot of those too, so. Yeah, and the aftershave for this bay rum, the, uh, the orange really kind of comes out. Mostly what I get is orange from this, honestly, which is good, so. Yeah, good combination of fall scent as well as kind of summer scent. And one thing about this Sterling Bay Rum is it burns the heck out of your face. More than any other aftershave in my den, it just lights your face on fire. But I love that. A lot of people would hate that, but I really like it. Yeah, very clove heavy, this one. You really got to be a Bay Rum fan for the Sterling Bay Rum. But I am, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to go to work today with it on, so. Great shave. All right, nice Nick Free shave at the 34C. As always, I never really cut myself anymore with it, but. Knock on wood. Well, guys, I'm going to end it there. Kind of a long video, but uh, those of you who made it to the end, thank you for your support. And I hope everyone has really good holidays coming up and. Keep on shaving on, doing your thing, and I'm sure I will be back soon for another one, so take care.